somebody left a comment about um, uh, being able to wrap text around a box. Okay, so let's go file new, and um, we're going to use uh, drag and drop, no coding. Here we go. So let's create a room. I usually make it that uh, 640 by 480. 640 by 480. And let me change the background to purple. I always do that for some reason. There's our room. Let's create a new object. And we don't need a sprite, we can just create the object. So let's add an event. Uh, we're going to create a... Uh, it's going to be a dry event. Okay. Somebody asked me how come this is not scrolling and... Uh, I think what you have to do is that you have to double click on this and you can drag with the middle button. Okay, so we want to draw text. There we go. So let me just um, go back to the room and drag this object here. Oh. Drag it here. And if you run this now, you'll notice that uh, our text appears on the corner. Alright, so let's double click on this. And uh, we can change the position of this to relative. So this is going to appear wherever you put the, uh, the object. There you go. So the question was how to wrap text around it, okay? By default, uh, this is uh, draw, draw text. And, and you have 0, 0 for your X and Y. This here for your text. Hello world. So let's run this. And, <laughs> and there is our text there. Okay, uh, I'm going to set this out 200 on the X and say about uh, 300 on the Y. So notice that now it ignores uh, this here. There you go, that is our text. So, um, we don't actually have to use that. We can use um, just draw, draw text and it's the second one here. Uh, draw text, position, string, separation, and width. So select that. And all we have to do is um, X and Y. That's our um, X and Y position. We're gonna set this at uh, the same 200, 300. And our uh, string, which is a uh, hello world. And then we have our uh, separation. Make it uh, make it ten. And our uh, width. Okay. So now you don't have to use. Um, you don't have to hard code the width. You can get the width of a box or something. Okay. For now, we're gonna hard code it. Okay. Uh, which will be maybe three hundred. Three hundred pixels. There we go. I just I just went hell world. <laughs> I meant to go hello world. Alright. So this is uh, a little too low. Let's set this at maybe a hundred. And we need a lot more text, okay? So let's type something here. Hello world. Uh, this is oops, this is a tutorial. Okay. This is a video about the game maker studio two. Wow, what an intelligent sentence. When you reach 300, the text uh, wraps around the, uh, the box or the imaginary box. Imagine that the object was a 300. Uh, you could uh, create a box and you can um, get the width of the box, put in a variable, and you can punch in the variable here instead. Okay, so let me just uh, type more text here. Lots of other stuff. Wow. See what happens. There we go. You can see that the text that breaks at 300. I think that needs to be separated a bit more. Back to this. Back to draw here. Uh, try 
15 for this. And that looks a lot better. Alright guys, smack the like button. And I will see you in the next video. Bye now. Did you know you're ready? So there you go, that's how you can create a 3D platformer in GDevelop. Alright, so don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye now.